Hey guys, I'm back here for the second video that I was wanted to share with you guys. So <clears throat> we're going to do the second planishing video with the English wheel. I've got my two pieces here clamped together. And I'm going to go ahead and tack them, weld them up, and then I'll show you the that style of planishing. We are still going to use the hammer and the dolly in this video. Uh, basically, as soon as we get done welding it, we're going to planish it somewhat with the hammer. Then we're going to go to the English wheel. So, let's get it started. So I'm just using my small welder. I'm at 50 amps, like normal, that I usually weld sheet metal with. I just like it, just in case I come into a thicker spot. I am running a number six cup with a gas lens. So let's get this tacked and I'll show you how to planish it with the English wheel. nice tight gap. I'm going to go ahead and weld it out and then I'll planish it with the hammer just a little bit to knock down the, the really high spots. I, I just tend to go over the whole weld for that purpose and then I'll run it through the English wheel. Okay, so now that I've got it welded, I'll show you guys the heat transfer, the difference. So, as you can see, using that 023, 024 wire feed wire, you can, you're controlling your, your, heat, your heat band. So I'm going to go ahead and planish it with the hammer and the dolly real quick just to knock down any high spots before I go into the the wheeling machine and this is a flat panel obviously you're going to use dollies that are curved and stuff like that depending on your panel Are, so you can't really tell much it straightened out the panel a little bit but as you can see I've got some hammer marks in there now I'm just gonna go to the wheeling machine and I've got obviously my anvils are hardened the bottom anvil is flat I'm gonna put it in there and you're gonna hear it going over rocks it sounds like that's the weld and you may not hear it but you just start increasing your pressure and it just keeps smoothing it But the cool thing, when you do it this way, it's more controlled. So not only are you stretching right where the weld is, stretching it back out, you're stretching some of that heat band that got hot from the welder itself. And 
you're actually stretching the whole the whole panel in a way. Obviously the English wheel is doing the same thing as a hammer and a dolly, it's just more even pressure is all it is. So that quick, as you can see, it's just hammered out. I'm not going to grind this one because it's pretty flat. I will before I go to the deal, but this, this one I'm going to say. And I just wanted to share that with you. So on the next video is going to be the planishing hammer. And we're not even going to use the hammer and dolly. You basically eliminate that. And you could adjust the air pressure on your planishing hammer to where you can go real light. But you just basically planishes out the welds itself. So with this one here, um, this one and the original that I still have from when I did the hammer and dolly. So this one here, this, this makes it a little bit, uh, I guess you would say easier. You can see it's pretty flat. I, I mean, I've got a little bit of high spot, but I can blend these two. On the original one, which is right here, this is the one that we did in the other video, you're gonna see we've got a low spot. So it's pretty low over in here. But on both of these, we can fix those. I could even fix this in the English wheel, this one, the original one, because if you just wheel it flat, and obviously it's gonna stretch this out and it's gonna continue the panel. The, the biggest problem with the English wheel and the finishing hammer you got to make sure that you hold your material flat as you're coming in and out. You start pulling it down or going, you know, at different angles, it will ch change your panel. The English wheel is nice for if you're doing a fender. Um, planishing hammer as well, but if you're doing a fender and you can hammer and dolly it and smooth it somewhat out, you could actually get it to this stage and run it, you know, run your weld and kind of blend outward on a fender. So if it's the whole fender and you're doing a lower fender or a top, you could actually massage it out to where it just kind of blends all in. And then we have a good panel here. So hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to do the next video on the planishing hammer and I'll weld one up and I'll go directly to the planishing hammer. No hammer and dolly. All right guys. So Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, click the link below. Go over to the other social media pages, my website, Facebook, Instagram, and see what's going on in the shop. Until then, I'm going to get going and try to get something accomplished in the shop today. See you guys later.